Welcome to Friday Night Fishes number 92, a.k.a. the Everything is the Same but Different episode. Everything is the same, but as you can see by the length of this grass, different. Uh, it has gone absolutely crazy. Um, it is well over two feet long. It is very happy from what I can see. Uh, I just turned the lights back up, but it purls like crazy. I mean, just a constant stream of oxygen bubbles coming out of the out of the leaves on there. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I actually cleaned this yesterday. Hard to tell. Uh, pulled those out, rinsed them off real good. Um, about once a week, I've got to pull it out at this point. And, and give it a rinse, otherwise the flow stops. Uh, the fish enjoy the flow. You'll see where they're positioned. Um, I actually bought some extreme uh, community blend flakes. Uh, I've been using the nano pellets. Uh, the, the nano pellets, they just sink too fast. Uh, I think it was starting to stress the fish. Uh, they weren't getting enough food. Uh, as you know, a lot of tetras won't eat off of the bottom. Uh, they are mid-level fish. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that they were getting plenty of an opportunity to eat. Uh, which, as you can see, um, they are already starting to look better. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've started feeding them twice a day. Um, a little bit smaller amounts, um, but that way they have more of an opportunity to, uh, to actually eat. So, uh, the reason I didn't move everything, I I'd actually planned on doing it. Uh, I came in yesterday to move everything. I am just fascinated with the way this is propagated. I thought for sure that's where it was going to drop a new plant at. But if you look, it actually popped up and then went around the back and dropped a new, uh, an entirely new plant back there. That is so cool. Uh, I am looking forward, though, to getting everything moved around. Uh, I'm still debating on whether I want to clean the moss off of these rocks or not. I did actually yesterday come through and clean a lot of that hair algae, or not moss algae, sorry. Um, clean a lot of the algae out. Uh, you'll also notice that the duckweed is severely reduced. I uh, pulled that again uh, just as, as much as I really could. Uh, and I just use a net, just dip it out, uh, wring it out into the water, and then toss the rest into the uh, worm bin. Uh, and then next week it'll be gone because the worms are hungry too. So uh, at some point I would love to have enough worms to be able to actually feed the fish and have a little bit of a continuous cycle going on. Uh, still supplement with the extreme flakes. Uh, we'll see. It's good to have goals. Uh, as you can see by the algae growth on the outside of the tank, uh, or sorry, on the glass, uh, you know, and the hair algae as well, nitrates are not a problem. Uh, I am going to do a water change this next week. Uh, probably going to be a 50%, maybe even a little bit more. I may do that partially to... Uh, move the plants because it'll make things a little bit easier on me. Um, but I may do it partially as well just to, you know, kind of give the nitrates a, a, a clearing out. Um, at this point, none of the fish seem overly stressed. Uh, they, they all seem happy. The neon tetras are starting to fill in just a little bit. Uh, so not quite as stressed out as they were before. Uh, even the x-ray tetra, if I can get them in focus there, who is hiding in the back of the tank right now. Um, even he's happy. But yeah, if you, uh, <laughs> circling back to what I was talking about before, if you look at the dispersion of the fish in the tank, look how the bigger ones are up on top, and then they kind of get smaller as you go down in the tank, and then you've got the, uh, I think these are the Von Rios um, down here in the bottom. Uh, you know, that really shows the pecking order of where they like to eat. So what I will do is I will feed them over here, uh, the natural current that's in the water now from this little power head filter thing uh, will push the flake across and it will slowly start falling down into this area and they all can just kind of sit here and, uh, and mow down. Uh, I have found that these silver tips will jump out of the tank uh, if I feed them, so I've got to get the lid put back on real quick uh, because they are very enthusiastic when they eat. Anyway, a little longer video than normal. Thanks for sticking with me. See you next week.